today is about grain. I'm gonna take two minutes and show you something that you can immediately apply to your workflow and process and level up. Hey, I'm Gia Goodrich and welcome back to my channel. That's all about pulling back the curtain on professional photography with tutorials, tips, techniques, strategies, and behind the scenes to show you how to do everything you need to do to be able to become the photographer you wanna be. Now, you know that when we moved to digital photography, we lost a lot of the beautiful natural grain that happened with different film speeds. The mistake people make, which you should never, never, never make, is adding grain in the beginning of your process. It adds this layer of texture, let's say on the skin for example, that when you're going out and doing spot treatments and cleaning can get all muddied and gross. You want to add grain at the end. I'm going to show you how to do that. So give me two minutes and listen, I talk a lot. So I'm going to try to limit this to two minutes, but I can't make any promises because I'm a blabbermouth. I have my image and I'm ready for grain. First thing I'm going to do is a new layer and I'm going to name it grain. And I am going to... Move it to soft light, press OK, and I am going to fill it with 50% gray. Boom. Now, what this means is there's going to be a layer here. Oh, I have to actually fill it. Uh, there's this 50% gray layer. When you take a 50% gray layer and you apply some effect to it and do it to soft light, it's going to just create that texture and apply that to the image. Next thing I'm gonna do is make a smart object because you want to work non-destructively whenever possible, i.e. you wanna be able to go back and fix issues. So making a smart object means that if we go back, I send this to the client and they say, mm, the grain's a little too much, I can go back into it and dial it back without being too crazy. I'm going to go to filter, camera raw filter, and can't see a whole lot of anything. I'm gonna to go to effects, I'm gonna zoom in, and then add grain. So look at right here. If I do it 100, you can say, whoo, that's a lot of grain. Not gonna do it 100. I'm gonna do it like 50, and you can play around with these different sliders, like roughness and size. This is a part of just building the aesthetic that you really like. So press OK. And then if we zoom in, we can already see the effect that it has. It's easier to tell in the shadows here, so we see before, after, before, after. Wow, you really, okay. <laughs> okay, so you can't really tell right now because I already added grain. So what I'm gonna do is go back into Camera Raw Filter. I'm gonna do an extreme grain so you can really see. But um, then I'm gonna go back into here. See, now if we look, like let's look in this, in this area here. Look, before, after, before, after, before, after. So see, it's adding quite a lot. Now, what we can do is use the fill layer and just dial it back till we get that sort of sweet spot that we want. And voila, there you have it. This is the best way to do grain. I know there's a noise process that people did for a long time. It's not the best. This grain in camera raw dialogue is really developed to help you simulate grain. So it's the best way to go through it. It's non-destructible. You can do it at the very end of your process. And yeah, it's awesome. Was that two minutes? I hope so. So if you weren't already, subscribe because every week I come out with new videos and like this video if it resonated for you and leave a comment. Let me know what other videos I can make. What do you want to learn? What do you want to know? I'm happy to make things just for you. All right, see you in the next video. Bye. Oh my gosh, this music is like ridiculous. Somebody's just like outside my window like. <laughs> oh my God, okay, come on.